Okay, so um, here's what we're doing. We've um, got a selection of Grumpy Gary's chili sauces. And uh, we're just gonna go through them in order of heat and uh, taste and flavor. And we're actually gonna see what they're like. Do they actually, have they, have they got any heat? Do they kick? Uh, what are they? So let me just let you know. So what they're competing with is this. This is one of my all time favorites, Scorpion Strike from uh, the Chili Factory in New South Wales. Uh, plug to them guys, free. If they see it, they should send me some. Anyway, this stuff rocks. This stuff rocks. Okay, so that's what they're competing with. So where we're going to start is um, we're going to start with Grumpy Gary's Smoky Hot Sauce, which is rated 8 out of 10. And we're just going to get sort of a, um, a knife full. We're going to stick it in the gob and taste it and see what it's like. So give it a bit of a shake up. Let's go. So this is a, a, a mild chili made out of basically uh, red chilies. 22% red chili, whatever that is. That's very nondescript. Let's, um, let's just have a crack. Oh, beautiful flavor. Seriously, that's smoky. Let's go again. That's really nice. Yeah, buy that. Even if, if you're not a chili person, there's hardly any heat in that. A little bit of spice. Um, I don't know what red chilies are used. That tastes wonderful. You will love that. Try that one. Smoky. It, it really is smoky, but that's smoky as. Yes. It's rated 8 out of 10 burn. Mm. That's a pretty small 10. Okay, next one we're going to go. Bit of a shake. The butt tickler. Um, the butt tickler is 23% peri peri chili and it's rated 11 out of 10. Butt tickler, 11 out of 10. But remember, I think their 10 is pretty weak. Let's have a crack at that. Hmm, tight to open. There we go. That's an unusual smell. Let's go. Sort of mustardy. Mustardy with its um little bit of burn, but Remember, I'm doing all these sauces in a row, so this might catch a little bit of um, spice from the other one. Um, that's nice for, for people that really don't like hot, hot, hot chili. Um, but tickler, it says, but you won't be laughing. You could possibly drink that. Okay, let's go. Next one. Good shake. This is the Ripper. Um, 17 out of 10. 17 out of 10 burn. And this has... Oh, yeah. This, this might burn. This has 36% chili. Peri -peri, combination of peri-peri peri -peri and the um, good old Carolina Reaper. So this actually might kick. The first two have been lovely, that smoky one. Seriously, even if you don't like chilies, um, buy that Grumpy Gary's Nail, that, that's truly smoky. That's actually really nice. Okay, this one says the Ripper might rip you a new one. That's very Aussie. Another good shake. Okay, let's uh, give it a crack. If I can open it. Oh, you can smell the chili in that. Yeah, that's got the um, the aroma warning. I'm hot. Okay, let's give it a crack.
That's very nice. Waiting for the chili to hit. Not really hitting. Well, I'm sorry, um, Grumpy Gary, that's not gonna rip me a new one at all. No, nah, no new one ripping there. But there's some heat in that. But again, it's got some build from the other ones. <clears throat> mm. No, there is some heat in that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Burns twice. What goes in must come out. Now the Ripper had some heat. The Ripper had some heat. It's coming now. Delayed reaction. Hmm. Hang on a minute. I'm going to go get some milk because I've got to get rid of the heat of the other one so I don't mistake um, what's going on. Give me a sec. I'll be back. Okay, so the Ripper was warm. Oh, uh, definitely not hot. Okay, let's try and get rid of some of the um, taste in my mouth. Sorry about the spillage. Okay, good to go. A little bit of heat on my tongue, not much. Okay, this one's rated um, 13 out of 10. But the reason I do this one, so the other one, the Ripper, 17 out of 10, but it hasn't actually got very much um, Carolina Reaper in it. So I'm going to make the assumption that this one is hotter because the ripper sorry the ripper was a 33 percent peri peri carolina reaper right this one is 61 percent carolina reaper so i don't know maybe the coating's wrong or something but this has to be hotter right shake 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 Crack. Mmm, smells like Tabasco. Very um, saucy, as in um, tomato sauce. Smells like Tabasco. That would be disappointing because you can drink Tabasco. Well, let's go. Now nah, that's sweet. Okay, now Gary, we are grumpy at you now. Um, I could drink that. That's a sweet sauce. Gary, grumpy Gary, misleading. That's a sweet sauce. We could do that. Uh, I could eat that on a spoon. I could drink the container. Gary, sweet sauce. Okay, to anyone who's not a um, chiliaholic, that's a lovely flavour, very tomato-y, um, but that's a sweet sauce, Gary. Hmm. Okay, that's, there's, there's, there's not even a Burns, it says Burns twice, there's not even a Burns once, Gary, misleading, not good for um, customers. Okay, I'm going to milk up just to get rid of the flavour of that because the next one 
is the Ripper, or the, the Reaper, the Sinister Reaper. This one, it doesn't tell you the percentage of, oh yes it does, 80% 80% Carolina Reaper. And the warning on the label is, this product is extremely hot. Do not consume undiluted. Let's consume it undiluted. And let's just see what we get. Good old shake. Uh, need to get rid of that flavor in my mouth. I'm sorry, Gary, but this will make you grumpy. So far, you are a long way behind the chili factory. This rocks. This will, <laughs> this will burn you a new one. This rocks. Okay, grumpy. Let's go. Let's go with the Sinister Reaper Paste. Do not consume undiluted. Guess I didn't read that part. Well, you can smell that, that's hot. A lot of chili, not a lot of other stuff in that. Should I take the label literally? <laughs> All right. Ooh, spilled some. Well, that's thick. The others have been saucy. Uh, this is like a this is actually a thick paste. You can see that, right? This is a paste. Let's go. Just waiting for it to kick, if it's going to kick. It's not going to kick. Would have done it by now. Well, Gary, I'm grumpy. Um, so maybe the uh, brand name is not Grumpy Gary, but maybe it's Gary Makes Grumpy. Uh, so let's go. Really nice. Awesome. Great flavour, great taste. Uh, that last one's not even kicking yet, eh? This one's awesome. Buy this one. You could put it on most things, salads, meats. That's really nice. Um, buy the butt tickler. I don't think it'll tickle your butt at all. Good flavour. Um, there's no ripping in the ripper. A little bit mild, I mean... Probably hotter than a commercial chili, but there's nothing killer in that. Burns twice. Sweet. Could drink. Misleading, Gary. Grumpy now, Gary. Misleading. Um, sinister. All must be lowercase. Not much sinister in that. It's got a little bit of heat coming now. To my lips, a little bit of heat. A little bit of heat. 80, I think that's misleading. 80%, does it say that? 80% Carolina Reaper? I do not think so, Gary. Dodgy man, dodgy. Nice sources, nice sources, but what I just did with those I could not do with this. This would put me, this, this is hot. And this is only, do, do, do. So this is Trinidad Scorpion Chili, 58%, and it's rated 25 out of 10. This is much hotter than all of those put together. Um, Grumpy Gary's got some great flavors, not dishonoring. But if you're a chili enthusiast, as in you want the heat, chili factory. Sorry, guys. The smoky one, awesome. The butt tickler, awesome. Uh, burns twice. Yep, 
as a sweet chili sauce, but um, my sister Kim gave them to me and I'll enjoy them all. Put them on um, toasties, different bits of meat, they'll all be lovely. Um, that's probably disappointing. I think the labeling is wrong and misleading because there's no way that that can actually be, what did I say? 80% Carolina Reaper. No, that is misleading, Gary. You're making me grumpy. But I will enjoy all of them. That's my little review. My little, I can I could have a spoonful of that. So a little bit of heat. It's definitely not going to put you in hospital. If you took a spoonful of this, it might put you in hospital. All good. That's my thoughts, my reviews. Enjoy your day. Grumpy Gary, you have done well. Um, some nice sauces there, but you do lack heat, Grumpy. So um, get grumpy about that review, Gary, and uh, fix it. Bless ya.